I'm Luke Evers. I'm Katie Kimes. Today we'll be talking about the lack of disloyalty and patriotism of the Roman Empire. This is definitely a problem. The disloyalty is leading to low confidence in the empire along with the hiring of mercenaries. The hiring of mercenaries with accepting lower pay. Why would they have loyalty in the Roman Empire? We have more of Jack in the subject on the field. What are your thoughts on the corruption and disloyalty throughout the Roman Empire? Well, you see, I just think that this loyalty, and, you know, I don't think it's right. I think if we need to do anything different, is we need to change the empire. We need to get our financials on track. I think we just need to be better citizens to the country, the empire. Thank you. Back to Roman Newscast 5. R, mate. That is the quote the pirates are using to disrupt the train on the Mediterranean Sea. Today we have a field reporter Peyton out near you. I'm here at the Mediterranean Sea, and as you can see behind me, the pirates are setting up camp here. Uh, they have disrupted trade and caused food shortages, and uh, they are disrupting crops and... Attack! My first mate! We have Olympic athletes and contenders at the annual Olympic Games. Noah Dillon and Luke Evers Three, competing in a 50-yard dash. One. Uh, how do you feel about that win out there? I feel amazing. I feel like I can be part of the Roman Empire. I feel like they treat me more as a citizen now. And I just can't wait for the next game. Back to you, Roman Newscast 5. And now for one of our quick sponsors, Galacticus Juice. It's refreshing. This is Galacticus Juice, the best juice to keep gladiators strong and healthy. Here, we have Jacobus Maximus, former football player. Would you like the cup? Definitely. It's good, right? Oh, no. <laughs> Sir, are you okay? And now for your weather report. As you can see outside, it's fairly sunny. Earlier, I was out there with a couple of my troops uh, pushing off those pirates. They were uh, disrupting the trade in the Mediterranean. Uh, it's about 50% humidity. This finished up from a pretty, pretty large rain squall. And it uh, doesn't seem to be any clouds. It's a nice day to get out there and have some fun. Now get ready for the gladiatorial games! Being the great up against Oedicus, the one who is a peasant on, and he is working good. his way up through... You can do better! Get him now! Oh, this is nothing! Get him! Come on! Oh, oh that is just terrible. Yeah! Oh, that is yeah. just bad. Get him! Yeah! Today here on Roman Newscast Pod, we have Jovian, the leader in the Roman games. Now we have a short clip from the outcome of the gladiatorial games. We are here at the outcome of the gladiatorial games. As you can see, Jack is first, Luke is second, and Ethan is dead third. Now back to you. A local citizen has set fire to our news station. We can't currently uh, report there right now. And now to Ennius. Hello, I am Aeneas, your local gardener, and as you can see today, the crops, well, they aren't good, they haven't been good, and we have a food shortage, and, you know, this is causing less of a population in the Roman Empire, and see, as you see, we have guards here too, and that's to protect, we've been invaded many times, and it's not looking good for the Roman people. And Aeneas is out in the field talking to an upperclassman in the Roman Empire. Hello, sir, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. How do you feel about the widening gap between the rich and the poor? The widening gap of the rich and poor? Well, I wouldn't say as much as there's a gap as the gap. I mean, my house, my land, you know, this is all mine. My servant, though, he, he lives in that little shack over there. Not the best place to live, but, I mean, just look at all this. I mean, I live in that sweet mansion over there. Got my own coliseum here. I mean, I got workers working for me, and I think life is pretty good. 
What about the others? What others? The poor. Well, I haven't given much thought about that, but now that I'm thinking about it, I mean, he's lucky to have to have his job. A lot of people don't have their jobs, and overall, it's not too good. That's true. Back to you. Thank you, Ennis, for that report. Disease, death, and devastation on lives has been very impactful on the Roman Empire. We have a video sent out by a local Roman. Your discretion is advised. Roman Daily Vlog here. Here I am, and there's an old man over here. Sir, are you okay? Oh no, disease has gotten me. Oh, the plague is coming through and oh, I feel horrible. I you okay, know. how has this affected your life? I mean, it's awful, I can't work, I don't have money, I don't know what I'll do. My son, he's 14, he's trying to make a living on his own. I mean, he's not doing so well either. I feel like I can't do anything for my family. It's a real struggle. Do you need help, sir? I can go get help. <coughs> no, just leave me here. That was a heart-touching video sent by one of our local rooms. Well, that's all we have for Roman Newscast 5. Uh, see you next time, and have a splendid day.